Hello and welcome, I'm Machine Dana. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. Hope you're having a great day. In this video, really, really simple, straightforward, I'm going to show you how you can add your latest Discord member to one or some or all of your YouTube descriptions. And this is something that will dynamically change as new members come into your Discord. So this is a pretty cool feature where someone joins your Discord and all of your YouTube videos will update to display their name. So what's actually the purpose of this? You want to be making your YouTube descriptions as dynamic and as interesting and as engaging as possible. And recently I did this video all about how you can set up Stream Elements Mercury or Mercury from Stream Elements, which allows you to basically dynamically update your descriptions on YouTube to include certain information. Within that video, I didn't cover Discord that's just basic setup and sort of an introduction to it. But in this video, it will be specifically about how to add Discord members or the most recent Discord members to your YouTube descriptions. Dead simple. If you find it useful, hit the like button. Feel free to subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy it. And yeah, let's do this. Okay, to set up Mercury from Stream Elements and then be able to add the latest Discord member into your video descriptions on YouTube, all you have to do, first we need to visit mercury.streamelements dot com you'll need to authorize your account here your youtube account that is and it'll ask for some permissions and stuff just click accept on the permissions acceptance there's a load of stuff that you can do with mercury by stream elements and i do cover it in that other video which i'll link on the card above and in the description below so i'm not going to be going too much into the actual setup and some of the broader things that this can do because i've already covered that in a video to set up discord what we need to do is go into the connections tab here here we can set up different connections for example patreon twitch will be coming soon hopefully uh, Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of thing. So I'm just going to click on connect here. It'll ask me to log into my own Discord server. And that will then at that point be able to pull in the information about the servers that I own so that we can pick up the latest member from those specific Discord servers. Once you've logged into Discord through the authorization panel here, it'll ask to access your username and avatar. And then you're going to select which server you want to connect Stream Elements Mercury to. So I'm going to click on my clubhouse, which is my main Discord server. If you want to join the server, check the link in the description below. Click continue on this. It'll ask for a load of different permissions. You just need to authorize these. Click that you're human, obviously, even though you're probably a bot. So this is now connected and we can see from the disconnect tab here that it is connected. So now when we go into the my video section, we'll be able to go onto one of our videos. We'll click edit. And within this section here, I've already got some templates applied here. Again, check the other video out on how to set those things up. I can now drop down the description here and I can see here a discord members goal. If I want to create a discord members goal, I could drag the members goal in there if I I wanted to or I could pull in the latest discord member here and drop it there like that what we can then do is just put some pretext on it as well so for example newest discord member might want to put some emojis in here or something like that just to make it look a little bit fresh I tend to use Emojipedia, which is quite a good website for this. I'm going to just put a little uh, microphone icon there. Okay, so I've only just connected Stream Elements Mercury to my Discord. And in that very short space of time, there's not been anyone new that's joined the server. So I don't think the data will be updated from the newest server member here. But we will preview it anyway to have a look. Yeah, at the moment, there's no field showing there, but I know it will work. So we'll save the changes on that. It shows that Discord is connected to that video. Okay, I just set up a test account. I called it Goose Test. I couldn't think of any other the name <laughs> and i joined my server i accepted the server rules in my server in the browser and it has updated that field to say goose test let's just look in the actual video description itself and there we go we can see the field is updated with my test account that i just used to join it so this is obviously just a really cool way just to like acknowledge any new members that have come into your discord server now you can add this to one video or all of your discord related videos or you could literally add it to every single description and within mercury from stream elements you can literally bull add this as a template to things as well. So I'm not going to go into all the details of this, but within this template section here, you can create templates and apply to all. That then means that at the start or the very end of your YouTube descriptions, you can add your latest Discord member in bulk. Dead easy. So it's just a really, really nice tool just to be able to welcome some of your Discord members on your YouTube channel if you do have a YouTube channel. So there you go. Hopefully you found it useful. Really, really cool thing to just add to your descriptions to encourage people to come into your Discord groups, enjoy your communities and get involved in some of the engagement that you have outside of just creating YouTube videos or streaming on Twitch or whatever. Once again, if you did find it useful, hit the like, feel free to subscribe to the channel because I've got so many Discord videos, like probably too many, actually. Yeah, maybe I need to cut that back. I don't know. Maybe I'll do more. See you later.